Dan Ridgeway and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a crockpot kielbasa casserole. Real easy to do, very few ingredients for a delicious hot meal on a damp cold day. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Thank you to everyone who supports me each and every day. If you're new, I am going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards when we get to 800. We are 60 away from 800. And if you are new, you must comment below that you are new in order to qualify and be a U.S. resident. If you comment all the time, you have to be subscribed and be a U.S. resident in order to qualify. When we get to 1000 we're going to issue out two $20 Dollar Tree gift cards for the same rules. You have to be new and comment you are new. And if you comment, you must be subscribed and be a U.S. resident. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everyone to go ahead and smash that like button. He's also directing you to smash on that subscribe board down below. Let's get cooking. Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Hey, don't run from the Lord. Where are you going? Today we're going to make a delicious crock pot kielbasa with potatoes. I'm also going to add in some bell peppers that I have in my freezer. And we're going to peel the potatoes, slice them thin. We're going to cut the kielbasa into nickel sized pieces and throw it all into the crock pot. I have here frozen green beans and pepper stir fries. I'm going to use a half a bag of this, the entire bag of the green beans, for this crock pot kielbasa meal. First, I'm going to peel my potatoes and I'm going to slice them thin. I have a colander in my sink, as you can see, to keep the peels all in one place. I'm going to go ahead and peel the second potato and then I'll be right back. I grabbed my cutting board and I go ahead and slice these potatoes thin. Gonna go ahead and dump in the potatoes. For spices, I'll be using onion soup mix, black pepper, and garlic. Focusing on the kielbasa. Slice it open. It can be kind of tricky at times. This is fully cooked, and I just love kielbasa. It smells so good. I'm 
going to slice it down the middle. And you're going to slice it into coin sized pieces. Dump the first half of the kielbasa into the crock pot. And this is a kind of a J shape, so I'm going to cut it to make it cut easier. Dump it right into the crock pot. I'm going to take the bird's eye, grab my scissors here, cut it open. And dump it on. And I have my pepper stir fry. I'm going to cut it open and dump it in half. Then we're going to add a can of cream soup and the spices. This one also has onions in it, so that's wonderful. And dump it on in. Grab two cans of cream of celery soup because they're only 10.5 ounces. You're not going to dilute the soup, you're going to just dump it into the crock pot. all the vegetables and kielbasa. Then we're going to add the spices. And the very last thing I do, I'm going to add a well of water. Got a tablespoon of onion soup mix. That's going to give it tremendous flavor. New York still has a recall on fresh onions. Three teaspoons of black pepper. Three teaspoons of garlic. And you're going to mix everything. It's going to sit on low all day and then keep warm near dinner time. Now you're going to dump in about two tablespoons of water all the way around the rim of the crock pot. And then mix again. The wonderful kielbasa casserole with lots of vegetables. In the summertime, you can do a spring version with fresh eggplant and everything if you have a garden. Now I'm going to cover this for six to eight hours 
on low. Here's what my kielbasa casserole looks like. Later today, I will show you what it looks like on my plate at dinner time. I'm going to take some out of the crock pot and put it into the bowl. Potatoes and everything are all done. This is going to be delicious for a damp, cold day. And it smells incredible. Here's what it looks like in the bowl, the kielbasa casserole. Everything cooked nicely and it's all tender and it smells delicious. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Thank you to everyone who supports me each and every day. I really appreciate all of you. Welcome aboard all my new subscribers. We are getting closer to 800 every single day. We are 60 away. When we get to 800, we're gonna issue out those two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. When we get to 1000 we're going to issue out two $20 Dollar Tree gift cards. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. He is directing you to smash on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell.